Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you, or not showing you, telling you how to make my paint or ink, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my version. What I do is I do two parts paint and one part all the rest of the stuff that you had to put in there. For the paint, which is the most important part, you need any rust brand, like Rust Oleum or what I have, XO Rust. Any, if it says rust in it, and it has to be oil based. Some, uh, I tried the latex based because I just wanted to see why people always say it has to be oil based, and it, it sticks together. It just dries and it's horrible. Oil based is the best way to go. Well, the only way to go at least. So that's what. After you have two parts of that, you need one part uh, paint thinner. A lot of paint thinner comes in this metal container. So if you're wondering, like if you didn't see this, it says premium paint thinner. If you didn't see that and it just said odorless mineral spirits and it's in a metal container, it's probably paint thinner. But, you know, it says it right there. Then after you have that, you want to do about two sprays of WD-40. Just two second sprays. And then the littlest amount of brake fluid. People say that brake fluid wastes your ink, or not wastes your ink, but makes it really bad, stuff like that. But it really doesn't. If you do the amount I use, it just makes it stain harder. It's a little bit slower, but it, it does do its part. WD-40 is supposed to not stain as hard. So if you mix the two, it does do a really good job. Trust me make the ink and you'll understand I'd right, say so for the brake fl fluid look at the cap and you do the littlest rim you can see like where it screws on the littlest rim is filled up to there and poured into your ink and then for this ink one thing that I found out is if you have an ink and it's really dark if you have maybe a really dark blue or really dark purple and you want to get a little bit lighter than it was then what you want to do is get some correctional fluid like one of these things and instead of uh, what you some of your toys do is you tag with these yeah that's that's stupid don't don't do that just take all the correctional fluid out pour it in here and your color will be a little bit lighter and there's some ingredients in there that might make it stain hotter and dry quicker so you can see right here all right yeah so that's basically what all I want to show you guys today and I kind of have a mop idea I was looking at my trash can and saw a Danimals uh, yogurt thing it's like squeezable and it, you could probably fit a really big uh, nib in there. I just want, maybe for one of your viewers, try to make a mop out of it. Give you a shout out or something. Just post the video response. All right, peace.